An incredibly active pattern is underway across the United States as multiple storm systems traverse the country, bringing a wide range of impacts. We have many different things to talk about in this video, so I have split this forecast into sections. You can easily access sections of the video by clicking on the timestamps in the description. With that in mind, let's begin the first portion of the video. First off, we are taking a look at Winter Storm Ricardo, which is almost done with its cross-country trek. As you can see here on the map, Winter Storm Ricardo is approaching the east coast, bringing snow to the north and rain to the south. As the system continues to slide east on Friday afternoon and evening, snow will continue spreading into the interior northeast, and then eventually parts of the I-95 corridor by the overnight. This will bring a quick shot of snow to places like New York City, making for a slippery Saturday morning commute as the storm moves out to sea by Saturday afternoon. Additional snowfall accumulations across the northeast look to be heaviest over northern Pennsylvania into southern New York State. Some lighter snow accumulations may make it as far east as parts of southeast New England by Saturday afternoon. Even though winter storm Ricardo won't be too impactful as it enters its final stage, you won't need to look far to find more impactful weather. Just take a look at what's going on out west. This new storm has been named Winter Storm Sage by the Weather Channel, and we will be taking a closer look in Section 2 of this update. Winter Storm Sage is wreaking serious havoc across the west on Friday, especially in California where major flooding is occurring. It won't take long for the snow to move through the northern Rockies and then head into the northern plains by Friday evening. As we head into Friday night, widespread heavy snow will move through the northern plains and eventually the upper Midwest, resulting in blizzard conditions in some spots. Snow will work its way through the Midwest on Saturday, before reaching the Great Lakes and Ohio Valley by Sunday. When the storm moves further east on Sunday night and into Monday, this is where things get really interesting. As the system pushes toward the Atlantic Ocean, a new low-pressure system will develop off the coast, and then rapidly develop. This will give way to a potentially highly impactful nor'easter starting on Monday night and continuing through midweek. The potential for this nor'easter is what I really wanted to focus on in this video, since it could end up being the most impactful winter storm that many in the northeast have seen all winter. But before we get into section 3, there are a couple things we need to review about winter storm sage. First off, the impacts in the western United States. An incredible rainfall event began in California on March 9th, and it is continuing into Friday March 10th, as I make this video. Widespread flash flood warnings are being issued across central California, with multiple feet of snow accumulating on the Sierra Nevada mountains. The Weather Prediction Center has even issued an extremely rare high risk of excessive rainfall for portions of California. To put this into perspective, there hasn't been a high risk of excessive rain since Hurricane Ian in September. That just shows you the magnitude of this rainfall event. Those are the impacts for the west, but what about the central and eastern portions of the country? When winter storm sage enters the northern plains and upper Midwest by Friday evening and night, blizzard conditions will be possible, which is why blizzard warnings have been issued from portions of northern Montana into North Dakota. The track of this storm will keep most of the heavy snow really far north, as you can clearly see on this snowfall map. Widespread heavy snow is expected from the Sierra Nevada mountains and up into the northern Rockies. A swath of heavy snow is expected from the Montana and Canadian border down through the Dakotas and onto the upper Midwest. Some lighter snow may make it as far south as the Ohio River Valley as the storm pushes east. The south is also expecting some impacts in the form of severe weather as well, starting tomorrow. The severe weather threat will begin in parts of the Mid-South on Saturday March 11th. The primary risk area will extend from eastern Oklahoma to northern Mississippi, where damaging winds, large hail, and even tornadoes will be possible. The threat will shift into the Gulf states by Sunday, from Louisiana to Georgia. Once again, damaging winds and large hail will be the primary threats, with a couple tornadoes possible. Now that we have reviewed the threats winter storm sage is bringing across the country, let's take a closer look at that possible nor'easter. All the main weather models are currently agreeing on this nor'easter happening, but as we all know, there is some disagreement among the models about how this will play out. This video has gone on for quite some time now, so I'm going to briefly explain how this storm works, and what it may mean for your area. As the energy from winter storm sage moves towards the Atlantic early next week, a new and much stronger low-pressure system will develop. This is what will give way to this nor'easter, as it pulls in warm and moist air from the Atlantic, with cold air pouring in behind the storm, over the northeast. The reason why the forecast is so tricky is because any small shift in the track could drastically change your snowfall totals, and I'll explain why. If the low pressure system moves close to the coast, then it would be all rain for the coast and for areas like Boston. 
If the low pressure system is too far, then the majority of the snow will stay off the coast, with only coastal areas receiving snow, while the interior northeast remains dry and cold. The low pressure system has to be in just the right spot off the coast to make a major snowstorm for the northeast, while keeping the rain offshore. This is basically why forecasting these storms is so difficult. As we get closer to the event, I'll be sure to put more updates on this channel with more information. Until then, thank you very much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it and found it useful, make sure to share it with a friend or family member.